Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, we're gonna go over common problems that we see with these Mercedes. This is a GL, but th this problem, it doesn't affect only the GL. It basically affects all Mercedes vehicles, you know, including the S-Class, E-Class, and it's very, after 100,000 miles, you will start seeing this issue a lot. So what happens is these um, sway bar bushings uh, that connect um, the sway bar links to the strut on this side and on that side, or um, in, in some models it will be connected to the lower control arm. But regardless, these uh, sway bar bushings wear out and when they wear out, this is only half of it, the other half uh, we'll show you in just a minute, is as you drive uh, down the road, if, especially if it's a, a road in poor condition, you will feel that front end of the vehicle be really loose. But other than that, uh, the vehicle could, you know, usually drives fine, it could, you know, very well stay straight and not pull. And if it does pull, you got another issue. But here is the sway bar bushing. So let's take a closer look where they are, how they feel, and how to replace them. Right here, you can see the sway bar. It also can be called sometimes torsion bar, but that's it. it goes all the way to the other side. Right here, we have the front right wheel. Right here, you can see the strut, and then this is the sway bar link. Now, this link right here also does wear out. So it is recommended to replace it at the same time but it, these don't usually fail first usually what fails is the sway bar bushing that you can see right there and see that rubber is completely destroyed on the top all right so it's basically two of these uh that upper one goes like this and it's totally destroyed there uh it also has two bolts that you take it off and then two bolts on the other side to undo to take the two halves apart so let's take a look and see how you replace it. Let's go over the steps. Okay, so the first thing you, you need to do is you might have to raise the vehicle. In this case, we have a GL and it's high enough we can reach underneath it, but you might have to raise the vehicle on the front uh, and also make sure you're supporting that with jack stands. Do not get under the vehicle unless it's supported in addition to the jacks with jack stands. So here is the the right side sway bar bushings and you see here we have these two 18 millimeter bolts uh, oh and the one other thing that you have to do is you have to remove the splash shield and this is held in place with several uh, in this case they're 10 millimeter bolts but they're usually 8 millimeter screws that come off so you'll have a few of these you need to take this off and then you'll be able to reach this uh, we recommend spraying some penetrating oil on these bolts and just letting them soak for at least 15-20 minutes because they are really hard to get off. Uh, for these two bolts you might even need a breaker bar for the 18 millimeter bolts. You might need a breaker bar to just break them loose and then when you reinstall them you need to torque them to spec. Okay, so we, we have a, actually loosened these two. All right. But once you remove these two, the next thing is you need to remove these uh, two nuts right here. And uh, you'll have to kind of hold these on the back, otherwise they might start spinning, especially if they're rusted. Uh, once you remove these two, then you have two halves that just come apart. There's one half, and then you'll have two of these. And you just simply reinstall it in reverse order, and that's it. Uh, for more help, just keep watching this video. And you can see that completely destroyed right there. And the upper one is also destroyed. Let's go ahead and remove these nuts. These are 13 millimeters, and we're going to use a deep socket in this case. As you can see, they already start spinning on the back, so we'll have to kind of hold these back end. So we have a 13 millimeter there. So that bolt is off. 
Alright, so we're going to do the same thing for this one. Alright, that. This one is off too. One thing to keep in mind is that if you raise the vehicle, you should raise it on both sides, meaning right and left on the front. Because what happens if you just only raise this right side right here, this, this is just going to have so much tension on one side and this is going to be really hard to put the bracket back in. You'll see. This is just going to move down and it's just nearly impossible to move it back in. If you did do that though, if you did only raise it on one side, uh, just lower the vehicle a little bit so you can put the bracket and then, you know, raise it again and secure it, of course. You can see that. It's totally falling apart right there. What we're going to do is we're, in fact, going to raise this just a tiny bit so we can slide the new one up on top. This is not coming off easily. You can also put a pry bar right here, push this down, but we're just going to avoid doing that. So you can see how much freedom that this gave us. We're going to put the new one in here. All right, so now that we have the new one right there, we're going to lower the vehicle on this side and this will make this go back and so that we can reinstall the rest of it. Now these bolts right here and the bolts for the bracket, you should torque those to spec and uh, follow our step-by-step -step guide um, and we should have the torque specs in there for this. First one now we need to hold this on the back and the back bolt is also 13 and so is the nut on the front. It's important to start threading these bolts by hand because they can go at an angle and then you'll ruin those threads. So this is where the challenging part is where if you have raised or unevenly raised you'll see that this is now pushed all the way up and then you have problems with putting these bolts together. So you might have to play with raising the vehicle or lowering it a little bit. Yeah, make sure that bolt goes in nice and smoothly. All right, before you use any air tools, or impact gun or anything like that. So these are both going just fine. And again, make sure to look in our step by step guide for those torque specs. And that's it. We're done with this side. All we have to do is do the other side as well. Thank you for watching.